Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that the universe is on your side in all shape, form, fashions. See, as we go along our journey, we can get caught up sometimes in ego, sometimes in a state of confusion. For myself, I found that the confusion usually comes when I don't have a destination. I don't have a vision. I don't have a, a ideal version of what I'm seeking out. Because in those moments, without a sense of direction, I can become reactive. Now I say I because I can only speak from my experience. I don't know about yours. But I would like to think that the things that I'm sharing are not exclusive to myself. I believe it's part of the journey in the human condition. Only you can decide if what I'm saying does relate or resonate. See, when I look back or even look currently, I can see where I've had pivotal moments, whether it be uh, events that happen, things that are said just right to get my attention. And the outcome of how I responded usually matched up with the perception of the message. It's the universe. It's not a particular person or people or place. It's the universe telling me about myself. I went to, well, I went to the military about 10 years ago. And during that time in, uh, let me slow down. Right before I went to the military, I was in a very dark place. I was in a dark place because I lost my sense of direction. I didn't know why I was doing the things that I was doing anymore. See, before I had a purpose, I knew what I was doing it for. Whether it was work, whether it was hobbies, like I, I knew what I was seeking to achieve. And when I achieved those things, I rested on my laws. I didn't, I didn't even comprehend the idea of, no, you must do something more. You must do something else. You must do something. It's not a sit still period. But that's what I did. I got to a point and I allowed the fire to die. I allowed the, the hunger to uh, subside. And in doing so, my world became chaotic. I didn't understand why I thought the world was attacking me, but it wasn't. So what did I do at that time? <laughs> Out of pure ignorance, I attempted to run. I attempted to blame my location. So I sought a new location. Now, what I did know at the time is no matter where you go, there you are. So imagine me <laughs> in my 20s, then left off not even, not just to another state, not even to another industry, being the military, but I even went to another country for a period of time. And to my surprise, there I was. Meaning the same things I thought I was running from came with me. That's when I had to take a hard look at myself and say, okay, you are the common denominator in all these situations. Where do we go from here? So I searched. I searched for answers. I searched for meanings. I reevaluated the way that I had handled certain things. Now, mind you, none of this is about regret. None of it. I appreciate all the experiences because it got me to where I am today, where I feel a lot better about who I am, where I'm more comfortable in who I am and where I'm headed. So during that time, uh, I began reading more. I thought getting a lot of money was going to be the answer. So I picked up a few skill sets that it did help financially. But it still wasn't that it wasn't the thing that was going to get me out of the hole, the emotional hole. 
it was taking a different kind of accountability. It was looking at myself for who I was and saying, okay, you got to work on this. You have to change this. And along the way, <laughs> different people came at different times to provide different messages. Some of those messages I didn't want to hear. But the interesting thing about the universe is it doesn't matter what you want. It doesn't. By that, I mean it doesn't matter that you only want pleasant things. It doesn't. The universe will provide what is necessary in order for you to overcome and move forward. So some areas of my life, I can be quite stubborn and still work through that now. And in those areas where I find myself to be more stubborn, I get harsher truths about myself from the universe. That could be from people I, uh, people I admire. That could be from people I love. That could be for, from people I'm not too fond of, but that's okay. Because it's not personal. See, the understanding or the lesson that I'm meant to receive from those messages, that's personal to me. But it's not an attack. The universe is on my side, just as the universe is on your side. Now, I say this to say that some people still don't need to be around me and vice versa. That's okay. The universe helped me see that. I've sought help from therapy, whether it be a uh, spiritual therapy, whether it be a uh, clinical uh, psychologist. I've been to various different lanes. And what I begin to see is there was a constant thread within myself. In some areas, psychology help. In other areas, the metaphysical help. I'm not saying either one is better simply saying that even in the midst of going through those lanes of discovery I saw or learned of blind spots helped me a lot and in doing so it allowed me to I could say alchemize some of the messages that I receive and I've, I've done this many times in my life but I did not put them together because I thought that everything was separate and now I have a deeper understanding that everything is more so connected than we can ever imagine. Interesting. It makes me think of a time where when I was a barber, I was uh, still up and coming, if you will. I was still working on figuring it out, being confident in my skill set, right? And I was a barber part-time. I had a full-time job building doors. Interestingly enough, I was working on a particular skill set in barbering, focusing on one aspect of barbering to enhance my skill. And one day when I was at work, building doors on door frames, this guy says something to me. He said one line, and we work together every day. He said one line that changed my perspective forever. He said, when you're using this tool, you don't have to be forceful. Place the tool and allow it to do what it's designed to do. See, it's so simple. But in that moment, it clicked for me. The skill that I was working on in barbering, which at the time was uh, hairlines. Making the best hairlines I could. I was so forceful that sometimes I would harm the skin or I was so forceful that I would not get the desired outcome because the tool did not respond to force. In that one statement that this man told me, I realized that all I had to do was turn on the machine, place it in the right position and allow the tool to do what it's designed to do. That simple understanding is life. 
See, it's not about being the biggest and the best unless that's what you desire and that's fine. It's simply about being tuned into the source, which is God, the creator, whatever you believe in. Being tuned into it and being tuned into that energy source. All you have to do is turn yourself on. Stimulate your mind with the vision. Once you do that, you don't have to be forceful. You simply do what comes naturally from being in that state. I know that this uh, topic can get sort of abstract. And that's why I use the example of the barber example, if you will, to help sort of make it uh, bring form to the formless. In the best way I can. So over the past week, I've received certain messages. Actually, uh, it's been going on for a while, but particularly in one area of my life. Receive certain messages about health, my health. Been overweight for years now. Not the not the ideal version I see for myself. I started making steps to correct that. Try different uh, routines. Didn't want to go into diets. Full disclosure, I did not want to go into any diets. Like it wasn't wasn't something that sounded appealing to me. And then I received a message that was undeniable and it triggered something in me to say, you know what? I believe that's the route to take. Attempt the diet. This particular diet was called, it is called the Daniel fast. Got it from YouTube creator that, uh, uh, she's quite inspirational to me. I'll be honest. She's quite inspirational. So I say, do it you've been doing the fasting it's been cool you've been seeing some results you've been doing more working out uh things that appease you and it's been working cool you share some pounds cool let's check out this diet the results from the diet i did a it's called a daniel fast i did for seven days try it out right it shifted me point blank period it shifted me in this manner i've been so used to being unhealthy as far as the things that i eat that i've been accustomed to discomfort not simply talking about discomfort you may feel from your body attempting to digest the some of the food that we put into our body but i noticed a change in sleep the way i slept the way I dreamed, the way that I woke up. See, I had, I had been so used to waking up in pain for so long, I simply attributed it to getting old. That wasn't it. Because the whole week that I was on this fast, I never woke up in pain. Whether it be my back, whether it be my neck, whether it be my shoulders, I was used to it. Go on a diet, not one day did I wake up with those aches. I woke up feeling refreshed. It made me raise some eyebrows. So day by day, you know, I'm I'm journaling. I'm keeping track of what's going on with this whole diet situation. I realized that throughout my days, I was a lot clearer. I wasn't a busybody or nothing like that. That's not even one of my goals. But I would in I would intuitively know what to do at certain times what to engage in, what not to engage in. And so much so that I even paid attention to some of the things I will watch in my spare time. I'll get on YouTube, browse a couple videos, this and that. And during this particular period, I found myself laughing a lot more, seeking out things that allowed me to laugh and enjoy and not malicious things, harmless pranks. Things that make others laugh and be light for a moment and freeing. And I took stock in that. Because in, in seeing that, I realized that I didn't even want to entertain. Huh, it's 11-11, beautiful synchronicity. Uh, I didn't even want to entertain foolishness. I didn't even want to entertain uh, some of the denser energy content that I can get caught up in sometimes. Saying, hey, it's 
entertainment. I'm used to this. No, it was different. All this from a diet. Now, one may not agree with that idea that the diet did shift that in me, and that's okay. You know, to each his own. I'm sharing this with you because seeing that for myself, it made me really pay attention. Like, oh, okay, let's, let's get some credence to this because you have never experienced anything like this. With those things said, uh, hopefully something I shared today will help you, inspire you. It inspired me at least. And I hope you're nothing but the best on your journey as you continue to move forward. For me, I'm going on a diet again, I'll be honest with you. I took a couple of days off, didn't feel the same. That was confirmation for me. Jump back on it. I'm not saying I'm going to be the ultimate health guru for the rest of my life or nothing like that. I'm simply saying on my journey, I'm going to take it one step at a time, one moment at a time, one day at a time. And right now, those steps are guiding me through the diet process. Seven days the first time, I'm going to knock it up to 10, assess, it may go longer. But it's uh, I'm grateful for the message from the universe because the universe is truly always on our side. Until next time, be blessed, and please remember to smile.